Mina, I'm gonna have to head out here soon for a little while today. I'm so sorry. This is supposed to be our honeymoon, a time to relax and forget about work. And now I have to cancel our plans for the entire day. Huh? What's going on? This wasn't on the itinerary. We spent weeks planning together. Yeah, I know. I really truly want to stay here with you, explore the island, soak up the sun. But a co-worker, Sarah, just came to town to help out the company for a little while, and apparently she's caused some major troubles with one of her customers. And guess who management thinks is the perfect person to go in and smooth things over? What? But why do you have to be the one to go in and do that? Aren't there plenty of other people in the office who can handle this while you're supposed to be enjoying your honeymoon? This is a once-in-a-lifetime trip, Rohan. I know, I know, honey. Believe me, I wouldn't leave if it wasn't important. It's just... It's just... what? It just sounds like they're taking advantage of you, especially since it's your first week of marriage. It would make sense if you were a part of the management team, but you don't even have anything to do with Sarah or with the customers she's working with. So just tell them to call someone else and that you're in the middle of something incredibly important here, like spending quality time with your new wife. All right, well, the customer he's working with now is someone I've known for a long time, a big spender for the company. So we're thinking that if by having somebody he recognizes be there to help smooth things out, it would calm him down a little bit about the trouble. That's at least what management is thinking. I kind of agree with them since I've known him for so long, and in the past he was a customer of mine, but... Is that so? Look, Rohan, I understand that work can be demanding, but this is supposed to be our honeymoon. A time to disconnect and focus on each other. I know, baby, and I hate that I have to do this. But listen, as a way of saying I'm incredibly sorry for ruining our day, I booked you a three-hour-long spa and massage course at the hotel. What? Are you kidding? That sounds amazing, but... At first, when I asked about getting a spot for today, the hotel told me there were no spots open. But just a few minutes after that, they called telling me that a 1 p.m. appointment was canceled and open for you. So I put you down for that time. It should give you something to look forward to. With all the cosmetic treatments that are included in the spa course, you'll be all fresh and ready when I crawl into bed with you tonight, hopefully with good news about this whole mess. Awesome. Thank you so much. At least now I can feel a bit more forgiving towards you, since I have something to keep me busy this afternoon. That's the spirit. Well, with all of what I said, I'll be gone for most of the day, but we'll try to get back here by tonight. I promise I'll make it up to you. I swear. Don't worry about it. Just make sure that tomorrow you're up for all kinds of adventures with me. I want us to go parasailing at the beach and then hit up some of the nightclubs downtown together. We can even extend our stay here if you need to make it up to me completely. Deal. All right, I'll be back in a little while then. Wish me luck with this customer situation. Have a safe trip. Hey, where are you right now? You have some nerve for doing all this. When we had plans for just the two of us to have that secret wedding. Hey, I just had a good look at your Instagram. Canceling our wedding to go on vacation without me is screwed up. What are you thinking? We've been waiting so long for this chance and now you've blown it. At least reply to me in some way. Hey, there's definitely a man with you right now, huh? I saw that picture you posted with your arms around a huge looking man. I'm gonna divorce you and get all your money after this. Just you wait. Huh? What is all of this? I plan to give you a call or text just after finishing the spa and the massage course. But what is all of this about? Canceling on a wedding and going on a vacation? And another man? Divorce? And getting all of my money, huh? Now that I think about it, you and I had our wedding yesterday, right? And just after that, you and I headed out on our honeymoon right away. And that wedding wasn't just the two of us there, right? We had all of our family there, as well as friends. Even people from our jobs came to see us get married. What are you going on about, Rohan? I hope this is some kind of sick prank and none of what you're saying is serious stuff. I'm so sorry for bugging you all of a sudden. This is incredibly awkward, and I wouldn't be doing it if it weren't absolutely necessary. I'd like to ask and see if this is really Ronan's wife, Mina on the other side of this phone number that I'm texting. Huh? Um, this is Mina, but who is this? And how did you get my number? Hi, my name's Patricia. And listen, I know this sounds crazy, but... You're Patricia? I'm sorry, but this is the first time I've ever heard your name. And where did you happen to find my phone number? This whole thing is starting to feel like a bad dream. I'll get to all of that just here in a second. To start... I want to apologize to you for everything that might hurt you with the story I'm about to tell you. 
I wouldn't want to be the reason your honeymoon takes a nosedive. Um, okay. What's the story? And why do I feel like this is about to be the worst news of my life? Well, I was able to get your phone number from an old friend of yours that you went to college with. Someone you might remember. Huh? Hold on. An old friend? This is getting weirder by the second. And right now, that old friend of yours is a coworker of mine. We were just talking about the wedding today and somehow your name came up. Oh, so that's how you've run into them? I normally would never ask for another person's phone number without their permission, but due to the urgency of the situation, I had to ask them repeatedly for it. So please don't blame your old friend for giving your number out. Okay, I'm sure that once I hear more of the story and about whatever the urgent situation is at hand, I'll understand things even more. But at the moment, I'm okay with you having my number. Just please, tell me what's going on. Well then, let me get to the main story here. Uh, well today was supposed to be the day that Ronan and I planned to get married. Huh? Hold on a second. Rohan and I only just got married to one another yesterday and had our wedding and everything. And after that, we started our honeymoon. And we're supposed to still be on it right now together. In my case, today was the day we should have been having our wedding with one another. But can you believe this? It's become a complete nightmare. I've been waiting here in Miami all day, dressed in my wedding gown, picturing our first dance as husband and wife. And instead, all I have is the silence of Ronan and the sting of my betrayal. Huh? Hold on a second. Rohan and I only just got married to one another yesterday and had our wedding and everything. And after that, we started our honeymoon. And we're supposed to still be on it right now together. This doesn't make any sense. I'm sure there's a lot of things you'd like to say to me and Ronan right now. But we need to do something about this problem first. So before you start asking any more questions, just hear the rest of the story. All right, go ahead. Let's start with two days ago. Ronan and I both took a bus and went out to Miami. And there we planned on having the wedding. Miami? That's where I'm at right now. Right. But anyway, he was planning on having a wedding with me today. And then he had some things to come up with his job, and he had to leave me for a little while to go back to his office. So I've been waiting here. Today, right? So I've been waiting here all day for Ronan. I had time to burn, and I started talking to my coworker. And while talking, I sent them a picture of Ronan. They're the same person that gave me your phone number, by the way. But today was their first time actually seeing the picture of the man I'd be marrying. And after getting his name and everything to me, my coworker told me they remember seeing a man like that get wed to you yesterday. This is insane. Now that you mention it, that coworker of yours, she happens to be a really good friend of mine and was there at the wedding. But with something as crazy as this, I thought she would just have said something to me about it by now. I told her I'd be getting in touch with you, and she said she could hold off for a bit. Right now, she's pregnant. Pregnant? So this really is Jamie that we're talking about, right? Yes. She's going through some things with her pregnancy, so she felt bad for having to tell me that she knew Ronan, but I didn't want her to have to deal with all of this right now while carrying a baby. So I said I'd handle all the things for us. So that's how we ended up here. All right, then we got a little off track there, but we can get back to how you were supposed to have a wedding with Rohan today? Yeah, so to sum up everything so far, your husband is... Ronan is the man I was supposed to have a wedding with today. Ronan is your husband and mine. Do you understand that? Yes. When I had learned about all of this from Jamie, I hurried up and called the wedding hall and told him to cancel the wedding. Doing something like that is pretty bad since we were so excited to have the wedding, but... To make it so that he would lose all feelings for me and try not to rekindle it? I went to the gym nearby and posted a pic of me with a really buff shirtless man. Well, so far I haven't heard anything from Ronan yet about that post. Oh, I know. What? I know how this is all linking up with what Rohan was going on about earlier. Were you guys supposed to be having that small wedding today? Around 1 or 2 in the afternoon? Yeah, 2 p.m. was supposed to be the start for us. So he must have sent the message he was supposed to be sending to you. Huh? He sent whatever he wanted to say to me to you instead? At first, when reading through all of those messages for him, I had no clue what was going on. I was really thinking he was trying to pull a prank on me or something and would come back to the hotel room a little bit after. But after hearing your story and him still not being back, I think I have a good suspicion I'm going to send you everything he sent to me by accident so you can be all caught up. Give me just a few seconds. Oh, okay. Please and thank you.
Mina, I finished dealing with all those problems at work. I was able to sit down with the customer and have a good talk, as well as get things back on track for the company. She'll be able to get back to the hotel in an hour or so, but still, I'm sorry this all took so long. It used up a lot more time than I'd said at first. Ah, okay. Good job today. Thank you for sending me all those screenshots and those messages he sent to you. I know that what we both had to see from him is a lot to process. The audacity! Here we are, both heartbroken and confused, and the man who supposedly loved us both is not only planning on having two weddings in just two days, but he was also threatening a divorce? At this point, things have gotten way too out of control. Ronin needs to be held accountable for his actions, and we need to figure out a way to move forward from this mess. Patricia? I just got a message from Rohan. My heart skipped a beat when I saw his name pop up on the screen. Huh? Did he finally decide to crawl back into one of those holes he dug himself into? What did he have to say for himself? Just to let you know, Rohan did say that he had to go into work today, and that all went down this morning. He said something about having to deal with a customer and how he was the only one his company could rely on. I thought that was all a lie at first. A convenient excuse to go and have this wedding with you, but you haven't been with him either all day. So I'm not sure what he's been up to all day today, away from the both of us. Maybe he really did have to go to work like he told you earlier then, or maybe he's with yet another woman. The thought makes me want to scream. Ugh, with another woman? That two-timing cad. But anyway, he told you he'll be coming back to the hotel in an hour? Yeah, that's what he said. So to be here with me when he arrives, do you think that you can come and meet at the Skyloft Hotel in Miami? Let's you and I meet in the lounge on the first floor. I know it'll be a bit of a drive for you to come up here, but it'll help us both a lot to have each other's support right now. Seeing you and talking things through would maybe even give me the strength to confront Rohan when he walks back through that door. Sounds good. I'll be there as soon as I can. I'll come back that way now. Expect to see me in a fiery red dress. We'll face this together, Mina. Ronan won't be able to weasel his way out of this one. Thank you, Patricia. I really appreciate it. And the red dress sounds perfect. I'll be in a pink dress waiting for you, ready to take this jerk down together. What the? You're a quick runner when it comes to running away from the problems you've made but it looks like you finally ran into a dead end. What the hell's going on? What's going on is exactly as you saw. Why the hell are the two of you together? You both shouldn't know a thing about one another, right? This wasn't supposed to happen. Did you never notice that massive group of texts you sent me when you got angry with Patricia? You were even trying to call me when you should have been trying to call her. Funny how things work out, isn't it? Huh? Hmm, that doesn't. That can't be right. There must be some kind of mistake. You screwed yourself big time, Rohan. That's how we both found out, along with a couple other things that just happened to line up in our favor. I wonder if your brain short-circuited when you wanted to yell at Patricia earlier. Or maybe you're just too lazy to check which woman of yours you're texting with right now. The two of us would really like to have a word with you in person, Rohan. But if you're not going to come here to us, then we're getting nowhere. Why don't you take a seat and explain yourself? We have a lot of questions for you, and frankly, your answers better be good. Why did you have to figure all this out? I had it all planned out so well. This can't be happening. And I plan on letting you know all about what's happened today. But first, I want to know why you wanted to get married to both me and Patricia. And within two days, no less. Planning to have your second wedding in the same city as your honeymoon with your first wife on the same day is not just stupid, Rohan, it's downright insulting. Did you think we were both living under a rock? Completely oblivious to your web of lies? I had no other choice. Believe me, it wasn't something I wanted to do. Huh? No other choice? That's a convenient excuse, Rohan. Maybe you can elaborate on this supposed lack of options you had. Because from where I'm standing, it looks like you had a perfectly good option to be honest with both of us. Listen, I knew I was going to have to throw one of you away eventually, but the thought of hurting either of you, the guilt was just too much to bear. That right there is not going to help you get anywhere with us, Rohan. We're not disposable options, and your indecisiveness doesn't excuse your actions. You made a conscious choice to deceive both of us, and now 
you have to face the consequences. Well, look, I knew I'd have to choose one of you to be married with for the rest of my life, but I was having a hard time choosing who. You, Mina, you come from such a successful family. Your parents practically run half the city with their business ventures. And you, Patricia, well, you have this undeniable charm and a beauty that could stop traffic. And so when it came down to picking just one, I panicked. A beauty that could stop traffic? Is that all I am to you, Rohan? Some trophy wife you could show off to your friends? This is unbelievable. Back when I was dating you, Mina, I ran into your parents and we talked a bit. And while on a date with Patricia, I ran into her grandpa and talked a bit. I had all you and your families on my mind, and the thought crept in. What if I could just marry you both? Have two wives. I convinced myself it could work, that it would be the perfect solution to my dilemma. What? I tried my best, so far. I've had to propose to two different women as well as pay for a wedding with both and plan out a honeymoon with both. But I had to make sure that nobody else ever found out about this crazy scheme. So, since Patricia doesn't have her parents around anymore, her and I were going to have a quick private wedding together to get married before anyone else found out. Rohan, can you shut up already? The more you speak, the worse this gets. Huh? Marry both of you? That's... that's impossible. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. Bullcrap? You think we were born yesterday, Rohan? You sent those crazy texts to me, the ones filled with anger meant for Patricia. You were even trying to call me when you should have been calling her. Don't play dumb with us. Texts? Calls? I... I don't know what you're talking about. This is all a big mistake. A mistake? You call this elaborate scheme a mistake? Marrying two women in two days? In the same city as our honeymoon? Were you planning on juggling us both like some kind of cosmic fool? Look, it wasn't like that. I never intended to hurt either of you. It's just, you both have so much to offer. So we're just options to you, Rohan? Like some kind of prize in a competition you couldn't decide on? It wasn't about money or looks. It was about, about finding the perfect wife. And for a while there, I thought maybe, maybe I could have it all. You can't just have it all, Rohan. Love and commitment don't work that way. They require honesty, respect, and the ability to choose one person and dedicate yourself to them fully. You failed miserably on all counts. So now what, Rohan? What do you propose we do about this mess you've created? You get to choose, Rohan. And it's a simple one. Do you want to say goodbye to both of us, or do you want to face the consequences of your actions? Because right now, the only goodbye we see happening is the one between you and any chance of a future with either of us. I don't like either of those choices, though. I, uh... Hold on now. You don't get to hem and haw any longer, Rohan. Your indecisiveness has already cost you dearly. By trying to have it all, you've lost everything. Huh? Consider this your official goodbye, Rohan. Our honeymoon is over with, and so is any relationship we might have had with you. Patricia and I will be contacting our lawyers to discuss the legal ramifications of your little scheme. And let's just say marriage fraud comes with some pretty hefty penalties. Lawyers? Consider it a parting gift, Rohan. A chance for you to truly understand the weight of your actions. And Rohan, one last thing. You and I are getting a divorce. No ifs, ands, or buts. This is over. Mina, wait. After that, Rohan tried to talk all of this through with Patricia, but it was all a pain in her neck, and so she just blocked him. And an hour after that, for whatever reason, he saw a security guard handling Rohan and pulling him out of the women's bathroom. There was a cop car sitting out in front of the hotel, and there waited an officer ready to take him away. There was another woman in the lobby with us that told me she called the police and security on him because he was in the stall next to her, and she was afraid he was going to do something to her. We heard from one of the officers that came to take him away that he had accidentally run into the women's bathroom instead of the men's when running from us, and in doing so, startled that woman we just talked to. But when she screamed for him to leave, he must have been too afraid to because of Patricia and me. Well, I don't really care about what he had to face after being taken into custody and off to the local jailhouse, but I'm sure he'd only get a fine or something. After explaining himself, I was more focused on making sure that he and I got a divorce, which of course we did get to do. 
After showing and explaining everything to my lawyer in the divorce, Rohan was also forced to pay me a settlement for cheating on me with another woman, as well had to pay me back for any money I put into her wedding and honeymoon. Patricia did the same thing as well to Rohan. So in total, he was left having to pay over $1.2 million to both of us. He was not going to be able to fight us on that and would be going into loan hell, trying to afford everything and all of that together seems like the perfect punishment for him. I'm not sure what'll happen to him in the future, but I don't care. <laughs> One great thing did come from all of this though, in the end, and that was a very close friendship to Patricia, since we had both gone through the same troubles. Of course, there's also all of Rohan's money that we got as well. That's a great thing, but I'm keeping that one a secret.